Hi everyone, this is Jaylene Tracy with an energy update for you for the month of November. Today is a beautiful day. It's November 1st and we're celebrating our connection with those who have passed before us. Those loved ones we have in spirit who have transitioned to the other side. Today is known as many different things in different countries, but for all of us here on planet Earth, it's our opportunity to connect with those who are part of our soul family and those whom we've loved who have transitioned to the other side and wish to connect with us and who would love for us to honor them and solidify our connections with them. I'm going to bring in some messages from the Mantis about this topic which I would say is typically not their area of focus with me. Usually we work together for healing specifically, but they do connect on this topic in uh, the way that it can be extremely healing for us to make connections and resolve emotional difficulties with loved ones who have passed over. Many times while we are together here on earth, we can experience uh, trauma with each other or difficult emotions that don't get resolved before one person passes. But the good news is that when someone is on the other side, they often have a much more broader perspective about your relationship and they are surrounded in the oneness of love and all that is. And so it's much easier for them to communicate with you from that perspective of love and healing. And so when our loved ones who we had difficulty with pass, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to make the connection with them and do some healing for ourselves because we are still here. We are still experiencing emotions in a heightened state the way humans do when we're embodied in the physical. And so we can really receive a lot of healing and guidance from those loved ones, even if we had difficulty with them while we were here. It's much, much easier to communicate with some people once they've passed. And I know I've experienced that in my own life. So I want to talk a little bit about how we can facilitate those connections. And the Mantis have a special, mes special message excuse me, about how we can do that more easily and it really comes down to frequency matching. So let's bring them in and see what they have to say. Yes, hello. We want you to know, as you may have already understood about the energy that is around you, that you are always surrounded and embraced by your soul family member, members in spirit, that they continue to surround you with their energy because you have a connection to them. You have an energy bond to them that was created during your time here together on earth and in many other lifetimes that you've lived. Many of you wish to reach out to your loved ones in spirit and solidify and strengthen those bonds so that you may communicate with them both for healing and for comfort. And this is especially important during this time on your planet because you are in the middle of two very prominent and important energy transmissions that are occurring through the two eclipses. Each of you has been challenged by an immense amount of emotional energy that has arisen within your field. Each of you has been faced with dealing with some of your deepest and most prominent energy imbalances in your own personal field and the way that those Im energy imbalances affect others around you and create the types of relationships that you have experienced since you arrived here. These eclipses shine the spotlight upon those imbalances and require you to address the aspects of you that still remain in imbalance to recognizing yourself in a state of oneness, community, and seeing yourself in others at all times. You are all each other. 
you all carry the weight, the energy, the recognition and experience of each other through your current incarnations. You all relate to and reflect back to each other that which exists within you and that which is ready to be released, to be understood, and to be reintegrated back into your energy of system, to your soul. So with this challenging time that you are moving through emotionally, it can be a great comfort for you to reach out to those whom you have known intimately on earth and who now reside in spirit on the other side. How is it that you can make these connections stronger and more easily recognized when you are here in this very chaotic energy system? We would like to give to you our recommendations for how you can make this more easily accomplished on a more regular basis. And it all comes down to frequency matching. Who you are and who you radiate yourself out to your energy field to be has everything to do with your personal energy field, the experiences you've had, and the beliefs that you hold about yourself and the way that you project your energy out into the world. When you do so, you are radiating out a frequency. That frequency then matches the frequency of other human beings, either that key in and lock into that frequency in a particular way because they have something that matches it within themselves that is also ready to be experienced or also with those beings in spirit. So if you would like to direct your energy towards high dimensional beings, and these do not only have to be beings that you have personal experience with from your human experience, these can also be guides and angels and other beings for whom you can receive healing and guidance and love from and comfort during this time. It requires you to feel into their frequency and to match that frequency. It does not require you to understand exactly what their frequency is, but it does require you to allow yourself to feel the frequency of others. We would recommend as an exercise that you begin to allow yourself to feel into your environment by sitting with different objects and allowing those objects to radiate their frequency and to feel the frequency of those objects. You can start with a crystal, you can start with a plant, you can start with any object. Allow yourself to breathe and relax and calm your nervous system down first. Then allow yourself to open your energy field and receive the frequencies from the object that you are attempting to connect with. Do not judge harshly the amount of information you get. Just allow the energy of that object to imbue your energy field with its signature imprint. Just be open to receive. As you receive these signals, allow them to percolate through your field and educate you on the energy of the object that is before you. If it is a crystal or a plant, it will have quite a bit of information to convey to you that radiates from its own consciousness. If it is an object, you may start to absorb the information and energy from the person that made it or from the wood or the tree that it came from originally. So be open to whatever you receive. Take notes and allow yourself to immerse yourself in the energy of that object. This is an exercise to help to open up these channels of communication 
within your brain and your nervous system and energy field. Once you've practiced that, you can begin to then send out your intention to connect to high frequency, benevolent and sacred guides who wish to share with you their healing energy, their love, and their intentions for your highest benefit. You want to create a healing and protected space to make these exchanges of information so that you do not, through your own unwitting connection into some of your own low vibrational energies, attract a being that does not have your greatest intentions its greatest intentions for your greatest intentions of well-being to manifest within you. You do not want to attract something that will have a low vibrational frequency that is looking to use your energy. The same is true when you wish to reach out to a loved one in spirit. While you do so, you want to think about them and you want to remember them and send them love and compassion. Send your intention out to them to make a bridge of energy and to make a connection. And if you start to feel them in your presence, then you want to match your energy to theirs to make it easier for them to communicate with you. And this you can do by raising your own frequency. So you can raise your own frequency by setting your intention to do so in your meditative state. So it's always important to get into that calm, clear meditative state first to immediately vibrate in a frequency of a theta brainwave state that allows you to have an expansion of your consciousness. That is the first step. And the second step is to state your intention that you wish to raise your frequency to meet those loved ones in spirit who come with beneficial intentions. If you have trouble imagining yourself or feeling the frequency of your energy field rising, you can imagine yourself moving upward through the sky into a space that has a higher frequency just by initiating your imagination to bring you from a place that is on the earth and rising up into a higher state of frequency will help you to embody that frequency within you. The other very helpful tool is to open and initiate the flow of energy through the heart. Each and every time we do that, we immediately raise our frequency. So connect with your heart, Think about something that brings you joy and connection with another and allow that frequency to flow through you. This will make it easier for you to connect to loved ones in spirit. Once you've adjusted your own frequency, then again state your intention to make this connection with them and to receive their healing guidance and to communicate with them. This can be very healing for you, comforting, and give you closure on any unresolved emotions. The closure of these unresolved emotions can help you move through this time of these two eclipses with more grace and more ease. Although you are all experiencing a tremendous amount of emotional energy that feels overwhelming at times, we are moving through this transition in order to continue to adjust your overall energy field to allow you to absorb the higher frequencies that the earth is moving into. To embody those frequencies and allow them to work with your DNA individually so that you may embody more of your gifts and more of your multidimensional self. The earth is moving rapidly into higher frequency states 
and you can match those frequency states by practicing your ability to raise your frequency and vibration. And each time you do, you give yourself the opportunity to absorb frequencies that will shift the function and the resonant frequency of your DNA. And each time you do that, you allow more information from your multidimensional self to flow into your physical being in the here and now. You create a bridge of connection that your DNA can align and match to, making more connections with spirit, with galactic heritage beings, with angels, archangels, ascended masters, whomever you wish to connect to on the other side that has your greatest intentions as their intention. All of that is possible when you embody more of your multidimensional self. So we come to you today to remind you that as the energies are supporting you making these connections, to take advantage of this opportunity, work with your own frequency, create those bridges of connection, heal when necessary, and expand. We love you, and we thank you, and we continue to be a part of your journey. Blessings to each of you. All right, thank you everyone for listening. That was a lovely message from the Mantis. And I hope that you all can relate to that in your own way. I know there's been some challenging energy lately on the planet and each of us has had to deal with that in our own way. But I hope that you've found your own healing and that your journey is continuing to evolve. And if you ever need extra help with that journey or exploring how your past lives are affecting your journey in the here and now, you can book a private session with me. I offer those throughout the week and we can explore all the influences of the energies that are present around you, whether they are from spirit or whether they're from one of your past lives and how they're affecting you today and how that's affecting your emotional experience here, your relationships and your forward progress. How is that affecting your DNA and how can your DNA open up and allow for more connections and more embodiment of the truth of your being and all of your untapped potential. I look forward to seeing you all each month. And if you'd like to connect with my group, you can reach me at jaylentracy.com as well. All right, goodbye for now. Take care.